This is the fifth and last episode. And in this episode, I'm gonna talk about high wind versus light wind setup. In the first example, I want you to think that you have one foil, one wing, one fuselage, one back wing. What can you do to get tuned for low wind or high wind? Of course, you're limited in your range. One foil can simply not do it all. But we go back to the back wing. This is where is your room to play with your setting. Do you feel you want more power in really light winds? We create more angle, gives you more power. This will improve your foil in the light wind setup. Is the wind picking up a lot? You want to stay on the same equipment? We're going to do the opposite. We put the spacer to fill it up in the back. We're going to have less power. This will bring you more control and makes you foiling in stronger winds. Now that we move to more fuselages and more front wings, we have a lot more setups to play with. You can imagine if I'm having this 720 front wing compared to this 420 front wing, in light winds I will have a lot more power. So obviously this will be the foil I would choose. If it's 25 knots, you can imagine reaching with a foil like this can be really, really powerful and I would much rather ride a 420 front wing with a shorter fuselage. As with this setup, I'm having a 100 fuselage and a 420 front wing and a small back wing. Everything means control. The smaller it is, the less drag, which means you can glide faster through the water. Um, you need wind for this, but you'll be fast. Again, if the wind drops, I would rather go for a bigger front wing, bigger back wing. Is that not enough? longer fuselage, and this way I can really play with all kinds of setups. Besides the power of the wind, also the water conditions are for me quite important to play with my setups. When it's for example wavy, I much rather ride a shorter fuselage as it brings me more control as I'm easier maneuvering through and over the waves. While on flat water, it's actually super easy and the longer fuselage gives you so much stability where you can really get more speed out of as well. So on wavy conditions, I usually rather ride a shorter fuselage and on flat water a longer fuselage depending on the wind conditions as well. To summarize everything one more time, to play with the power of the foil, light wind, you need more power so you can use a bigger front wing, longer fuselage, or more angle on the back wing or a bigger back wing. And when we think opposite, the wind is getting stronger, you get more power, so what do you want? You want less power from the foil, which means a smaller front wing, shorter fuselage, or a smaller back wing, or a back wing with less angle. 